Well, um, for the, they've been doing these studies, uh, academics have been doing these studies for over 50 years now, and it uh, pretty much uh, shows the, the same thing, that you know, every year in aggregate, uh, uh, the average dollar invested in the stock market gets what the market index return is. That is, it gets that before fees. Uh, the average dollar invested in the stock market after fees gets the market index return minus the cost of investing. So in aggregate then, uh, the average investor, the average dollar invested, uh, is going to do worse than the market index. And that, that's simple arithmetic. That's not any great theory. Um, and so <clears throat> um, um, every year, the average dollar does slightly worse than the index. Uh, now, the average institutional investor uh, also holds the market. So that's the experience of the average institutional investor. And I think that explains the tremendous growth in uh, passive management you know, over the last four decades, uh, that on average, um, there's just no evidence that uh, conventional active management is uh, adding anything. Mm. So how do you then treat events that come out of the blue, things like geopolitical risks such as suddenly North Korea doing some saber rattling that might shake out the market? Do you just put that aside independent of your investment strategy and stay the course? Well, uh, largely, uh, yes. I mean, there may be some temporary uh, pause in trading or whatnot, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm always kind of amazed at for the last year, even let's say since the election uh, in, in, the, in the States, um, people go, well, uh, coming on, uh, there's supposedly forecasting saying, you know, we, uh, we can't really say what's going to happen because it's, it's a new, uh, a kind of a new era. Well, that's what they're getting paid for. I mean, so I, I don't know uh, um, if that, uh, if the people can come back and say it's, it's tough to forecast. You know, big events, Basically, markets react very quickly to, uh, to the information that, that happens in these, these new events. So it's, it's, if the market's doing its job, in other words, the markets are where buyers and sellers come together in, in, big, uh, in big volumes. And if they're sorting through all these risks adequately, um, then you know, it's very difficult to get an edge on, uh, you know, on what the market's doing.